Hi there, this is Jenna with Time to Pet, and in this video, we'll take a look at how to use the Time to Pet mobile client app. Please keep in mind that your pet care company may have certain settings enabled or disabled, so some things may appear different on this demo than your client app. As a client, you can log into the app by using the same email and password that you use to access the web-based client portal. The app can be downloaded right from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. Just search for Time to Pet. After logging into the client app, you will find yourself on the home screen. This screen has all of the same main sections as your client portal. First, you have the conversation feed where you can communicate with your pet care provider, the My Info section where you can update your information, the Pets section where you can update your pet's information, scheduling where you can view upcoming services or make new service requests, invoices where you can review, download, and make payments on your invoices, Payment methods to manage your payment methods if your company has credit card processing enabled. And settings where you can manage your app settings and preferences. First up, let's take a look at the conversation feed. This is where you can review all messages and pictures sent to you. You can send a message directly to your pet care company as well by clicking the new button down at the bottom of the screen. You can also send photos, files, or even take a photo inside of the app and send it to your pet care company. If you'd like to save a draft of the message, click Save Draft. You can view any visit reports sent from your company by clicking View Report at the top of the screen to view any additional details about the visit report. You can also save any photos that your pet care company sends by clicking and holding down and clicking the Save Image button to download it to your mobile device. If you'd like to share the image to social media, click the Share button with the arrow and choose your preferred app to share the image to. Next up is the My Info section. This is where you can review all of the information you've entered about yourself under the Profile tab. Details like your address, phone number, and emergency contact information live here. You can edit this information by clicking the Edit button in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. After updating your information, you can click the Save Changes button to save any changes made. If there are any documents uploaded to your profile or if you have signed a client portal agreement for the company, these will be available to download under the Documents tab. Next up is the Pets section. From here, you can review all of the information your pet care company has on file for your pets. If you need to add a pet to your profile, click the Add button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If you are missing any required information about your new pet, you will be prompted at the top of the screen to fill out that information. Click the Edit Screen link to be taken to where you need to fill out those required fields. To expand each pet's profile to view or edit information, click View Full Profile with the arrow pointing down. If you need to make an edit, click the Edit button in the upper right hand corner. To save any changes you've made, be sure to click Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. If your company has enabled the option to manage your pet's vaccinations, you will also see a Vaccinations tab on the pet profile. Here you can upload vaccination records for your pet and include the due date for when the vaccination is expired. By clicking Upload Vaccination Record, you can upload any files, photos, or take a photo inside of the app to send to your pet care company for the vaccination. Next up is the Scheduling section. Under Scheduling, you can view any upcoming visits as well as past visits. You can request new visits by clicking the New Request button at the bottom of the screen. On the Request Services screen, you can choose a single date for your request or multiple dates for multiple services. When clicking multiple dates, you can input the first date of service and the last date of service that you'll be needing. Click the Next button, 
and on the next screen you can choose which services you'll need and which pets should be part of the service request. You can uncheck any pets that should not be part of the service request. Below, you can enter any additional details that the pet care company should know about your request. Next, select the times that you'll need for each day of your request. After you've selected your times for your request, click the Add Services button. On the next screen, you'll be able to remove any services from your request, as well as add new services to your request by clicking the Add plus sign button at the top of the screen. When your request is ready to submit, click the Submit Request button at the bottom of the screen. To cancel any of your already scheduled services, click the Cancel Services button at the top of the screen. Next, select the visits that you would like to cancel by clicking the checkbox on each service. Click Continue to Cancel to proceed to canceling the events. You can include a short message to your pet care company about the reason for the cancellation. Clicking Request Cancellation will submit this to the pet care company. The next section of the client mobile app is invoices. Please keep in mind the configuration options your pet care company has set may not allow access to all of the features shown here. You can review all of your invoices in the invoices section and even download them if you'd like. Click the download button to download any invoices in this area. On the open screen, you can see any invoices that have not been paid yet and under Paid, you can see any paid invoices. When you're ready to pay your invoice, click the Make Payment button at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to a new screen where you can also leave a tip if the company has tipping enabled. You can select from the amount provided or add a custom amount. When you're all set, click Proceed to Payment at the bottom of the screen. On the next screen, you can choose from any payment methods on file or add a new card. If your company has Google or Apple Pay enabled, you can also use that option to pay your invoice. Click Checkout to proceed to the next screen, where you can enter your payment information or use a card on file to pay your invoice. If you've selected the wrong invoice to pay or don't want to pay this invoice just yet, deselect the option that says Will Be Paid in green and when you're ready, you can click Pay This Invoice or Proceed to Payment again. In the Invoices screen, you'll see an icon that looks like a credit card in the upper right-hand corner. Clicking this actually takes you to the Payment Methods area. Here, you can add a new card or manage any payment methods currently on file. Clicking the Home button takes us back to the Home screen. And here we can see a Payment Methods button as well. You can click the same button here to go to the exact same page to manage your payment methods. The last section of your client mobile app is Settings. Here you can send a device report to our support team if you're experiencing an issue with the mobile app. Additionally, you can read more about Time to Pet here. By clicking the hamburger menu in the top left corner, you'll have access to the contact button, which you can use to view a contact us page for your pet care company. You can also access our help documents from here if you need any additional support with using the mobile app. Finally, to log out of the app, click the red log out button at the bottom of this menu. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoy using the Time to Pet Client mobile app.